video. Today is a do-it-yourself video. As you can see, there's something here behind me that looks really cool. It is a pom-pom rug. Yes, a pom-pom rug or you can also display it on the wall like I am doing so if you are interested in learning how I made this fabulous this cute unique pom-pom rug or wall art keep on watching all right guys so I am back this is a quick video I'm going to show you how to make your own pom-pom rug there are a few things that you need it's very easy very affordable very simple so the few things that you need is of course you need some yarn um, in this pom-pom rug I did maybe about four or five colors but you can just limit it down to two colors or you can only do one color whatever you like honey okay so get some yarn okay michael's they always have a special or hobby lobby online you can always get a coupon with i think 40 percent off so make sure you catch the sales you're going to need about maybe five or six bundles of yarn based on how big you want your rug or your wall art to be so you're going to need that the next thing you're going to need is a pom-pom maker now two things here what i'm going to do is this is a pom-pom maker Okay, this is this was very easy. I think it was like five bucks or six bucks. I got it from Michaels, or you can order it on Amazon. It's a little bit cheaper on Michaels, I believe. Um, but uh, this um, this made it so much easier. The second thing that if you don't want to use this, you can um, you I will post a link on how to make your own pom pom below. You take two toilet paper rolls, wrap, put your feet insert your finger uh, in the toilet paper rolls and start rolling it around and you make a big pom-pom like that it is a little bit more tedious it takes a little bit more longer but you do not have to buy one of these if you don't want to buy one of these so um, I will make sure I leave the link below if you're interested in doing it that way but I did it the pom-pom way um, they have different sizes I did this size and then there is a smaller size that I use as well um, so you could do it this way which is much easier or you can do it the way that I'm going to put in the link uh, put a link down in the description box below the next thing you need is let me go ahead and get that because I okay and just to show you the two sizes this is like the medium size pom-pom maker and then this is the smaller size so these are the two sizes that I use as you can see I was wrapping it around so that's how you'll do it you'll wrap it around on one side like so and then on this side you'll wrap it around again to your liking and then you close it and start cutting it but I'm going to make sure I leave the link below on how to do it is extremely simple and it's quick and it will save you a lot of time so you need these you need some yarn and then you need this kind of thing. I got this at Ross or you can uh, get it at Home Goods or maybe Walmart. It's a carpet like stopper thingy. I don't even know how to describe the name, but y'all know what it is. You put this under your carpet to prevent it from sliding. So I got this from Ross. It was like three bucks. It will you can do any size you want. You can do it smaller, you can do it bigger. And make it fabulous, honey. So then here is a finished pom-pom from my pom-pom maker. Isn't it super cute? So what you're going to do is you're going to take, take the two strings, the two strands, and put it, um, you're going to add it here. So let me show you because my brain don't be working sometimes. And sometimes I cannot get, I can't get the words out. And it's just to be struggling, you know what I mean? So let me show you really quick while I can because the little one is sleep and y'all know we got to take advantage of this time when he's sleep because he keeps me busy guys he keeps me super busy so I'm just quickly adding this in so I can show you guys show you guys show you guys here we go like this okay and you see how it's added like that so right here I just took the two strands and added it to the back like that. So, I'm sorry, added it to the back like that. Okay, so then I'm going to just tie two knots like that. Make sure you tie it tight and there you go. And you're going to do as many pom-poms as you want to fill up the entire mat and just keep adding them in. 
So as you can see with this one, this one's pretty full. I can add some more if I want to. There are a few little holes, but I liked it the way it was. It was fine. And I use it um, in my little prayer corner as on the wall. And I really like, it's nice as a carpet because it's soft and cute and, you know, cushy. But I actually like it on the wall because it makes a really nice statement. Kind of like a knockoff headboard, I guess. I don't know. But I thought this was really cute and I wanted to share this with you. Right now we are at home a lot and we need to get creative and let those creative juices flow and do something that just takes our mind off from all the craziness in the world. So I thought what better way to do a pom-pom rug or whatever you call it, put it on the wall. And it, take, it took me about maybe a few hours because I have a little one and I'm busy with him a lot. Um, so it may take you maybe six hours maybe two hours three hours i'm not sure it took me a couple of days because i only did it like two hours here and there because the baby keeps me busy but it might take you longer so i will definitely leave the the two links of where to um um how to do the pom-pom on the toilet tissue you use two of them and wrap it around your finger like that and then I will also leave a link on how to use this, but it is completely simple. You roll it, like I said, you take it right here and wrap the string around it on one side, do it on this side, close it, and you're just gonna cut it on one side, cut it on the other side, and tie a knot. I will show you, it's so easy. So if you guys like this video, thumbs up let me know if you want to see more of your do-it-yourself little fun projects i love doing this you know aside from caring for my plants and thank you so much for your love and support and i will see you guys next time deuces oh and happy holidays to you bye